Welcome to the world of structural analysis. Whether you're an engineer, architect, or simply have a fascination with building design, this video is for you. Today, we'll be exploring the three main types of structural analysis programs, elastic, plastic, and elastic plastic. Interestingly, do you ever wonder how the structures you see around you can withstand the forces of nature and everyday life? Well, that's where these programs come in. They calculate the forces acting on a structure and help determine its ability to resist collapse. However, it's important to note that these programs do not include checks for the member's ability to sustain the generated forces, which is a separate design activity. Moving on, let's dive into the different types of analysis programs. Elastic analysis, the most commonly used, assumes linear elastic behavior of the material being modeled. It calculates forces, but does not account for failure due to yielding or buckling. Conversely, plastic analysis methods determine the set of plastic hinges that form a collapse mechanism under a given set of loads. Yet, this method has mostly been replaced by programs that perform elastic plastic analysis. These programs take into account the formation of plastic hinges and the calculation of defections and bending moments. Additionally, we also have first-order and second-order structural analysis. In first-order analysis, the structure's stiffness is assumed to remain constant and unaltered by changes in geometry when loaded. This approach is commonly used for most orthodox steel structures. Conversely, second-order analysis takes into account the changes in effective stiffness of structure due to the loads acting upon it. This is necessary for structures such as cable, struts, and members in bending. Moreover, in the design of multi-story rigid jointed frames, it is important to take second-order effects into consideration. This can be done by ensuring sufficient stiffness or using the amplified sway method. Conversely, if a multi-story frame has an unorthodox bracing arrangement, second-order effects may be significant and should be checked. Importantly, it's crucial to pay attention to the ratio of stiffnesses when defining element properties in the analysis model. A general guide is that the ratio of stiffness at a node should not exceed 10 to the power of 5. Finally, in conclusion, we've learned about the three main types of structural analysis programs, elastic, plastic, and elastic plastic. We've also explored the differences between first-order and second-order structural analysis and the importance of considering the ratio of stiffnesses in the analysis model. Whether it's elastic analysis for most steel structures or elastic plastic analysis for portal frames, it's crucial to pay attention to all aspects of the analysis to obtain accurate results. Thank you for watching and exploring the world of structural analysis with us. Until next time, keep learning and building your knowledge in this exciting field.